What's going on, everybody? I am back with another Prize Picks NBA Player Props Picks video for this Sunday slate today. Excited to get into it, guys. I'm going to be giving you guys five picks that will give you winning some money over here on Prize Picks. As always, if you haven't signed up for Prize Picks, guys, it is a player prop site where you can win money off picking the over and under on things like points, assists, rebounds, points, rebounds, assists, three pointers made, free throws made, fantasy points, etc. They have all sports as well. Use that code KJKDFS when you sign up today. You will receive an instant match deposit up to $100. So go ahead and capitalize on that offer. Get that free money. Start locking these picks today and win some money over there on prize picks, guys. Quick reflection on yesterday's video. We went 2-3, and three, unfortunately. We had the Zach Levine over 22.5 points. We went up there and put up 28. De'Aaron Fox over 23.5. He had 26. Will Barton over 15.5 points. He only had 13. Monty Morris over 4.5 assists. He had 3. DeMontis Sabonis over 38.5 points rebounds and assists and he had 37 he got massive foul trouble i was actually going to add that to the graphic i forgot to but the first half he only played 10 minutes so that was unfortunate and then will barton just didn't get the scoring going it was in aaron gordon show and monty morris did more scoring than assisting and nikola Jokic really struggled from shooting and shot like three times in the first half and just became the point guard and had all the assists so the way that game panned out did not go well for our picks but all the statistics backed it up not going to get frustrated going to move on to today Give you more picks that with the statistics to back it up, and there will be success. Um, you got to know why you you take the loss when you take the loss. The bonus almost hit there, and he, he and he only played ten minutes in the first half. He had three fouls immediately. So um, just stick to process. Things will pay off. You got to know why you win, why you lose. You know if you're getting frustrated and saying I'm never going to pick against Sacramento again in that situation, that's not the right approach. Sacramento's terrible defensively, so you got to know why he didn't hit it. Um, and yeah, so without further ado, guys. Let's talk about it. Let's get into the picks for today. And my first pick on this one today is going to be in this Charlotte-Detroit game. It's going to be a fast, up-tempo game. Both teams are really bad defensively. It's a 228.5 over under with a 10-point spread in favor of Charlotte. When you're looking at my defensive half court and putbacks tool against Detroit, they are really bad defensively. And I want to target Terry Rozier's points. They have the line set at 19.5 points right now. I want to take the over. He's averaging 22.6 over his last five. Has been playing some pretty easy opponents over his last five, but you know what? He's taken Detroit again, a team he just scored 25 against on February 11th, and I like him to do so again in this one. Detroit ranks 25th overall in points per possession rank, 28th in half court points per play rank, 20th in offensive rebound and percentage rank, and 20th in half court percentage of play ranks. So just really not good defensively overall. And then when you're looking at some other statistics, um, let's just say bad defensively. <laughs> so it, it's really easy to be targeting them. Taylor Rogier has been getting a lot of buckets. Uh, as of late, I do like targeting his points. That's my favorite category to target when it comes to Terry Rozier, and I want to go with the over 19.5 points. Another guy that I'll be going to in this game, his teammate, actually, in the same game environment, once again, fast up-tempo, 228.5 over under, 119 implied team total, but we're not going to be going with points. We're not going to be going with assists. We're going to be going with rebounds, and we're going to be heading on down to Miles Bridges. When you look at Miles Bridges' rebounding output as of late, it has really increased. He's averaging 8.6 over his last five. Over his last three, he's pulled down 13, 11, and 10 rebounds. And that's not a coincidence because the Charlotte Hornets and some of the trades they made and stuff, the way they're running these small ball lineups, he's getting a lot of opportunities to go out there and be pulling down a lot of rebounds. You know, they, they run P.J. Washington, Mason Plumlee for limited minutes, and then they have guys like Cody Martin, Kelly Oubre, and Montrezl Harrell off the bench that are running alongside uh, Miles Bridges. And when they go small on that second unit, he's getting a lot of opportunities to be pulling down rebounds. And I think we're going to continue to see a lot of that out of Miles Bridges. I think the line at 7 is too low. I think he can continue to go out there and pull out double-digit rebounds. And I like going with the over 7 rebounds for Miles Bridges. So that is pick number 2. Pick number 3. We're going to be going to another guy in this game. Once again, this is a first-look video, so we have limited options. Um, but I'm going to be going with LaMelo Ball, the point guard. But rather than you know points or assists, I'm going to go with the points, rebounds, and assists. They have his line set at 35.5. That is too low. Uh, over his last five. He's only been averaging 26.8. He's had some really bad games the last three, though. Typically, with LaMelo, he's a very well-rounded stat sheet patter. He gets the assists. He gets the rebounds. He scores buckets. He does it all. And I think it's very likely that he's able to go out there and do, you know, put up 36 uh, between a combination of points, rebounds, and assists in this matchup. Once again, I already read the Detroit statistics, but they are just not good defensively. He's going to have a lot of opportunities to be scoring buckets, getting those assists, getting those rebounds, all the above. And 35 and a half is a very friendly line. So go ahead and take advantage of that while you can, because I think that's going to go up once the mellow kind of gets back in his rhythm here. I like the over 35 and a half points, rebounds, and assists for the mellow ball. 
Third on the list, we're going to be heading over to a different game finally with a 229 over under. It's the Houston Rockets taking on the LA Clippers. This game comes in with a 118.25 implied team total for the LA Clippers, a 110.75 implied team total for the Rockets. Clippers expected to score a lot of points in this one, and for that reason, I like their likelihood of the point guard, Reggie Jackson, getting a lot of assists. His line is set at 7.5 assists. He's been averaging 9 over his last 5. You can see 8, 9, 8, 14 against Houston last time they played, actually. Um, and I really like the possibility of him hitting 8 or more assists in this matchup. Houston ranks dead last in the league defensively, 30th overall in points per possession rank, 29th in half-court points per play rank, 25th in offensive rebounding percentage, 27th in half-court percentage of plays, and 23rd in putbacks. They're just really not good. They give up a lot of second-chance opportunities, and they give up a lot of points. And once again, um, with the LA or Clippers having such a high line with 118.25 implied team total, I think their point guard's in a really great position here to be putting up a lot of assists. So I like the over 7.5 assists for Reggie Jackson. And lastly, rounding things out, we have a nationally televised game in the Dallas Mavericks-Golden State Warriors game. It's a 4.5 point spread in favor of the Golden State Warriors. The Dallas Mavericks have a 107.75 implied team total. Luka Doncic is someone I want to be targeting. And he's going to need to be the one that really puts on a show here. Once again, nationally televised on the big stage. I do think that makes a difference when it comes to these stars. I got to say, and I think we have a huge game out of Luka Doncic tonight. I think he does it in all aspects. And I like targeting the over points, rebounds, and assists for Luka Doncic at 47 and a half. You know, you factor in a triple-double for him at the bare minimum of 10 assists, 10 rebounds, and 10 points, which I think is very likely tonight. And all the scoring output that he's capable of doing, I think there's a high likelihood he's able to go out there, you know, put up 50-plus points, rebounds, and assists in this game where they're really going to need him to have a big game to keep the game close. Against the Golden State Warriors team, that's one of the best teams in the league. It's going to be Luka time. He's going to dominate in all aspects of the game, try to change it in any way that he can. I like the over 47 and a half points, rebounds, and assists for Luka Doncic, guys. So those are my five picks. Keep in mind, this is a first look video. We don't have all the picks up on the board. If you do want my final picks, you can head on over to patreon.com slash kjk underscore DFS. I'm going to pull it up on the screen for you right now. And you get access to my core plays. For instance, yesterday, we got the news that there was no DeJounte Murray. There was no Jacopoto. The San Antonio Spurs immediately became one of the teams I wanted to target. I had the over Devin Vassal points. I had the over Lonnie Walker points. They both crossed those lines. Stuff like that does happen, and I'm able to go out there you know, and adjust on my sheets with the full board up. So if you're interested in that, go ahead and purchase this, patreon.com slash kjk underscore DFS. I do offer a DraftKings Fando package, a prize pick package, and an NBA combo package. If you enjoyed this content, guys, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell so you don't miss any future content that I upload. Wishing you all the best luck tonight on your prize picks picks. If you haven't signed up, use that promo code KJKDFS to receive that instant match deposit up to $100. Lock in these picks and start winning some money today, guys. Thanks for tuning in again, and we will see you in the next one.